What is going on, SoFi fans? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So for the most part, we had a very good week, a lot of good momentum, unfortunately, leading up to Thursday and Friday. We did get a nice, good upgrade from Bank of America, so that was a win-win. But there's a lot of FUD that is being spread right now, mostly from bears on stock forums. So I just wanted to go through some of that FUD as well and also talk on what Shorts is doing behind the scenes. Before I get into any of that, making sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe is always greatly appreciated. And with that, though, let's get right to it. So when it comes down to the FUD, it basically can be encumbered and just shown based on this. So this is all the SEC filings based on SoFi. You can see there is a lot of Form 4s that was all submitted on the 16th. And then over and above that on September the 12th, there was a S8. So I'm just going to start off by going over the S8. In reality, it does show 41.4 million shares is going to be diluted at the price of proposed price, I should say, of $5.68. In reality, that threw off a lot of individuals individuals and especially bears took that and ran with it saying SoFi is going to be continuously diluting blah 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 this is very important why you guys need to do your own due diligence at the end of the day because on July the 12th this was already technically approved and as you can see right here this is from the shareholder meeting proposal number four amendment and reinstatement of 2021 stock option and incentive plan for SoFi technology so ultimately it was already approved I think so many people were focused on that reverse stock split I believe that was proposed Proposal number five but a lot of people were focused on that didn't necessarily care about the rest maybe that was the case I don't know or maybe just people forgot because like I said lately I think a lot of people tend to not care about the bigger picture so much they care about short-term movements which is completely wrong if you ask me my own two cents keep in mind I'm not a financial advisor either so do your own due diligence but this shareholder meeting did occur on July the 12th so once again technically some of the bears are officially correct that there was a dilution but it is for actual already approved purposes and they are not going to be continuously diluting so if this was a one-time event so let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below outside of that though like i said there is a lot of form fours that was submitted on the 16th and so bears once again are saying that everyone and their dog is selling because sofi is going down which once again is very wrong incorrect information so as you can see on these form fours this one is michelle gill you also get anthony noto same kind of concept but you can see right here that it does show that in Anthony's case he got 98,000 shares did sell 48,000 so it's one of those things that when someone sees a sell they just panic but once again if you actually read between the lines and what actually this is for then it is a little bit more reassuring so you can see the codes right here m and f m shows that it's basically being converted um, from a either exercised or whatever it might be these are all restricted stocks as well that was converted so that's something you just to factor in and f is just basically for taxes so and as well it does have the explanation of response right here so number two shares withheld to satisfy tax withholding obligations so again it's one of those things that immediately people see a sell they panic and once again it's just a lot of bears trying to spread very wrong information so this is very important why you guys need to do your own due diligence but friday was a very interesting day especially what came out from the fedex earnings causing a little bit more of a downtrend as you can see based on the technicals this was the intraday chart from friday but that's not what i want to show you shorts shorts are double down and this is very a weird abnormality with SoFi I don't know why it always comes down to SoFi shorts feel so bold I do cover a lot of other growth stocks as well and in many of those cases shorts closed a lot of positions roughly almost two percent so Friday was a very very big day for shorts closing out the positions but oddly enough not when it comes down to SoFi so in SoFi's case they increased 1.05 million shares works out to be 1.05 percent up for the day so 12.91 percent is a short interest so with SoFi's recent momentum shorts took advantage and closed out a ton of positions almost around three months ago it was at 25% so that's a pretty big jump down if you ask me also short score is 69.14 the higher the number the higher the likelihood of a squeeze happening so I think given all the circumstances especially with utilization at 73.22 I think the likelihood of a squeeze happening is out the door but still very interesting to see when short are increasing their position as much as they are just in SoFi's case but still I think in the grand scheme of things we already know SoFi is a long-term investment just need to do your own due diligence and realize that it's going to do a lot of good things as I've said in a lot of videos in the past they are trying to be a disruptive company in one of the oldest sectors known to
into the stock market. So I think it's a very big, big task that they have ahead of them. But I think they are up for the job. They definitely are showing a lot of good results based on their previous earnings. So let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments below. On a side note, nothing really to do with SoFi. Let me know your thoughts on the FedEx earnings, uh, especially they were basically very impending doomish kind of saying that things are starting to really ripple in the broader economy and that everything might be coming crashing down very soon, possibly Q4, even Q1 of 2023. So let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments below. Like I said, I think this is a long term investment. And even if they do increase the rates on the 21st, 1%, which most likely is going to be the case, that's going to be better for SoFi for the bottom line balance sheet and everything. So let me know your thoughts on all of that. I greatly appreciate that. Hopefully everyone is having an amazing weekend and definitely stay tuned for further videos by making sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. But with all that, I appreciate you guys watching and let's all make a lot of money on SoFi.